All right. Hey, I'm Richard. Uh, this is not like last year's talk, so this is a little more sedated. So. Can we argue about spelling? Did I misspell something? Okay. Uh, so, um, I'm not sure if everyone remembers, but um, Dan Sachs' talk from uh, CCPPCon 2016. Uh, um, if you remember just one thing, if you're arguing, you're losing. So um, I thought about it and I looked through my code and I saw this. And those are arguments. <laughs> if you're arguing, you're losing. So I thought, um, can you write code where you call functions without arguments? And how would you do it? So it's more of a thought experiment. So I came up with a couple of approaches. I'm sure you guys can come up with a bunch more. Um, but I just wanted to outline a couple I uh, figured out. Uh, so I mean, the first one's obvious. Uh, so well, before we get there, uh, this is sort of I, I started with this. So I just came up with some toy function where I'm just going to uh, print out the answer is 42, giving it two arguments. It just concatenates them. So um, first one is uh, everyone thinks of as globals, right? So obvious, right? I'm just going to put data off to the side. Uh, my function is going to get called, and it's going to read the globals. Uh, except that's not so that's not so satisfactory. Um, it's not very uh, multi-threaded safe. So I'll fix it with some nicer <laughs> globals. So uh, there we go. So no arguments. Uh, I'm not losing. So um, what about another approach? What if I try? Um, using objects. So uh, instead of reading from the global, I'll just read from a local state. So um, I'm going to create a structure and uh, have it have two arguments. And then I'm going to have a uh, member function. And it's just going to call those. And um, technically, you know, might call those arguments. But I think that's the compiler doing the work for me. So I'm not going to count that. So my function doesn't have any arguments. I think that's a win. So uh, then the next one was. Uh, what about, uh, you know, I could do the same thing probably with a lambda. I'm not sure about this one, but uh, essentially my, my, I don't have any arguments here, so I feel pretty good about that there. So I think that that, that counts as a win. Um, what about, um, so I think uh, in uh, Louis' talk, he had an interesting point, which is why don't you um, do what the compiler does? And what does the compiler do? It just sticks things on a stack. So um, <laughs> I'm just going to make a stack. <laughs> And I'm just going to push my stuff on the stack, and I'll uh, pop them off at the end after I'm done, and I've uh, got no arguments. Um, and then I was um, actually, uh, this, uh, this next one's um, actually, I didn't come up with it. It was Ben and uh, Steven who uh, we were chatting about this. And they had the idea of, well, could you inject them with um, maybe some uh, templates? Could we use that? And so the thought is, well, what if I instead uh, take the function by pointers and just have them be part of the uh, signature? So actually, if you look at this, I don't think I have any arguments anywhere. So um, <laughs> yeah, I think that works. There's template arguments. Ah, come on. <laughs> come on. But so, <laughs> so I'm, sure, and, uh, I'm sure there's a bunch more approaches to take. But um, just in the words of Dan Sachs, you know, if you remember just one thing, if you're arguing, you're losing. All right, thanks so much.